I'm corn milk, and one day your bones will be dry. Welcome to Corn Milk Does Redstone that she actually doesn't know how to do. Anyway, today we're going to be building a fully functional, fully operational radar sonar system for my house, my very beautiful house. So let's get started. For my radar sonar system, I'm going to use skulk sensors because whenever you really move by them, they go off. And that's perfect for, you know, a radar sonar system. There's just one small problem. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't actually know how to do any of the stuff I want to do. The plan is pretty simple. I'm going to try to individually light up each one of these squares, and all the squares are going to be places where I have sensors. So I'm going to try to make it so whenever a sensor in this square lights up, it makes it so that I, in relation to my house, I can see where it went off. The only problem is, if we do that, it lights up the entire thing. and. That I, I, I don't want that. I want it to light up just that. Okay, so I think I figured out how to turn them on one at a time. Let's just... Hey, yes, yes, yes. Let me just see that again a couple more times. Oh, it so, feels so good when things work. All right, okay. So the reason this works uh, redstone lamps, when you directly put something into them, when you directly run redstone into them, they light up a lot. But, if instead you just put a torch, it only activates the one. So I just needed to figure out how to turn the torch on and off. And the thing about the torch is that you can turn it on and off by running a redstone signal directly into it. Like, this here. And so this one's now off. And then to turn this one off, you just run the redstone signal again. Bada bing, bada boom. Turn this one off, turn this one on. And then, if you just stick something in front of here, you have it normally off, but sometimes on. Okay, okay, okay. This is coming together. Now I just need to figure out how to do all of this. With all of the torches. And... Oh, oh joy. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I've been practicing more, and the noise is really starting to bug me. And it also doesn't strike me as particularly subtle, you know, for like a defense system. You don't really want people to know that you have one, you just kind of wanna, I don't know, it's, it, it's bugging me. So what I'm gonna do is waterlog this bad boy, and I'm sure. All right, we might have an issue. Okay, so there's a clear issue. When I move around, triggers but it makes the noise and that's not subtle. And even when I block all the other sides, if I waterlog it, it's still gonna destroy the redstone. And that's annoying. So I gotta figure out a way around this. I'll be back in a bit I guess. So I think I figured this out. Lights up, it triggers. No noise. We're good. There was a little bit of a delay. I don't think I can do anything about that. But anyway, so I wanted, to, I needed to have a thing on all sides so that the water wouldn't break all my redstone. But I didn't know what to put here. And I tried a redstone block, but that was just like always on. And so that really wasn't helpful. And then when I was messing around, I found this thing called a comparator. So if I just stick this right here and power this like this. So when this is powered, you can't directly run a redstone line out of it. I don't know why. I just know that it doesn't work. But what does work is if you stick a comparator out of it, now you can see it's turned on, and you can run a line out of that. Um, for some reason, when I was running it, the line I was getting was really weak, so I also stuck a repeater there to make it super strong, and then I could power my whole thing. And with on all sides, that meant I could waterlog it and we don't get the funky noise anymore. And so I think I've solved that problem, and now I just need to solve the problem which I've been avoiding, which is how to, how to, how to, how to fix all of this make them all like that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh well. So I figured it out. Um, and it's kind of horrifying. It's giant. Oh my gosh. But it works. All of them light up individually. Theoretically. 
So I can trigger that one, I can trigger this one. So, but really it is kind of a monster. So I took the idea I had from over here, uh, the just powering it with the torches. And so I managed to do three across by using repeaters because, okay, fun thing. Repeaters are basically diodes, which means they only let current th flow one way. And also comparators are basically diodes, which means they only let current flow one way. And I don't know what else they do. Um, I know repeaters make it stronger. I don't know what comparators do. Comparators are kind of magic. I don't trust them. Um, but what it does do is here, um, it would be a problem if like this, because then it would all be connected, but instead we've got a repeater. And so what that does is that, uh, separates these out because it's sticking a diode in the middle. And then these are all just the second halves of this. Cause I have to make this one line too. So it doesn't, so the redstone doesn't interfere. And so I did that and then I stacked it on top of the bottom ones, which are the exact same thing. And then I was stuck with the sides because I've got two extra boxes over here, basically, that I need to do somehow. So I came up with the brilliant idea of triggering pistons that were pushing redstone blocks because I'd been having trouble with the redstone blocks over here. And so that kind of gave me the idea to use them over here. And the redstone box still only triggers um, one box. I'm not sure why. I don't I don't know how this works. I think I think something we all need to understand is that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But I'm making things work, and that's like all I can really ask for. And so I don't know why it works, but it does light up a box, and so it functions like I want it to. And now I've got this massive behemoth that theoretically lights up individually. And the reason it's not showing itself as lighting up individually is because everything is very close together. Like, these are supposed to be spread out more. These are supposed to be way spread out more. And so I think what it's about time to do is stick this in my house, in my beautiful, beautiful house. Stick this in my house and hope for the best. So it sure is in there. Now I just gotta do all of the actual redstone. I'm not procrastinating, you're procrastinating. So I've done all the inside bits, and boy, is it a doozy. It is so cramped in here. Also weirdly big. I had to build this entire dome on top of it just to make it seem less suspicious. Yeah, no one's ever gonna question this. Anyway, there are so many complicated pieces of this. So many, just too many. But anyway, it's basically the same thing I did out there, just way crazier because, for example, I'm running redstone under my house so I can connect to the sensors I'm going to put over there. And I'm running redstone this way under my house so I can connect to the sensors I'm gonna put over there. And it's just redstone everywhere. This is honestly making, stre making me stressed looking at it. I did the same thing I was doing before, which is building it top to bottom and then putting in the sides, but still, oh my gosh. This is, oof. Now I gotta put in all the sensors.
I ran around with my grass and flowers and moss and just tried to sort of get less obvious that these moss carpets are, you know, where all of the redstone is. Uh, because if you if you looked at it before, it was very obvious. And now it just kind of looks strange, which, you know what, I can deal with strange. And, you know, I've got all of this ni nicely hidden in this box. If you really look at it, you can definitely see the redstone inside. But it's, it, it, it passes like the, huh, test. You know, like, they just look at it. It's fine. Um, and so now, we have, as you can see, it, it lighting up. It's quiet, though, because we made it quiet. We waterlogged those bad boys, and you can hear the pistons going off, admittedly. I forgot that the pistons would be loud. But, anyway, and then if we go inside, got a very nice working system. And also the rest of my house, you know. But, of course... There's only one real way to test the system, to make sure it works in all of its forms. I can't be in two places at once, so we need something to trigger it. What better to trigger it than something that likes moving a lot, and is also relatively quiet. So I'm gonna put out a single bunny. Oh, you don't seem to be interested in moving. Do you think you could move for me? <laughs> wow, that bunny mysteriously disappeared. We're not going to do the bunny test. We're going to do the fox test because fox run away. Yes, run. Why don't, why don't? Yeah, run from, you're not. Oh wait, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna put a chicken way over here. Now I'm gonna go back into the house. All right. Someone's up here. All right, someone's still up here. Oh, it's the fox. And that means that back here, Ought to be the chicken spinning in circles. So it's just that kind of day, huh? All right, I'm just gonna pretend the rabbit test never happened. The rabbit test never happened. And instead, I'm just gonna let out my bees. Return to your home, my children. Hello. Go. That's where my knees are. Yes, they are. It works. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you didn't, oof, I guess. Anyway, I hope to see you in my corner of the internet sometime soon. See you next time, maybe. Thank you.